Can't open it now. We will open that later. Stay tuned. Oh, my goodness. We made it downtown. Okay, I'm on my lunch break. We're, we're meeting Luke today. Luke is a fan of the vlog and he's not from Colorado. He's visiting. And so it's just like, it just worked out so well. And I think he's got a pretty interesting story to share with all of you today. So anyway, it's, uh, it's just amazing. All right, got to get unloaded, get the camera gear. All right, so YouTube, great minds think alike. Luke, Luke showed up an hour early. I showed up an hour early, right? We agreed on one. One o'clock. Good to meet early. you. Here early, bright and early. That's uh, kind of how I try to do it, business and everywhere else. But 10,000 subscribers. Ah. Oh. Um, I'm one of those first 10,000. I just want to say we did it. From the grinders and the hustlers. Oh. There's a lot of us in that 10,000. I know right. there's there's moms, single moms that are out there running circles around their house with their baby monitors at 4 a.m. Yes. Um, I mean, there's there's things like that. I mean, there's yeah. uh, people like me juggling a business, uh, running a family trying to get those runs in and from all of us I got you a little something that maybe could go in the studio or go somewhere at your oh house oh my uh, gosh uh, this is crazy this is crazy all right I'm gonna close I'm gonna close my eyes you tell I'm gonna back up you tell me when to open them Luke is oh my oh my gosh look at, look at this oh my goodness that is amazing. I'm giving it back to you. I did snag it off your Instagram, the oh. picture, but uh, I'm giving it back <laughs> to you, so yeah, it's all good. Copyright. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. That's quant. So this is Quandry, everybody. And then I believe, oh, what is the name? I forget the name of that mountain, but um, that was like last week or two. So now this date is to today. Dead to when you when you hit 10,000 subscribers, oh, which was this morning, because I, I got up about 6.30 this morning to feed the baby and noticed you hit 10,000. So. How did you? You are amazing. How did you well, do that? FedEx, FedEx Print Shop. We use them for some of our work, work presentations for customers and stuff too. And if you get lucky and you get a, a good location, I mean, it, it was just awesome. Yep, they helped us make it. So. Wow, that yep. is amazing. So from all of us, ten thousand to you. Yeah, this is a, just a little thing for today. So. Ah, thank You'll you. You'll be at a hundred thousand before you know it, man. Right. One day at a time. One mile at a time. So Luke is the Sundowner Express. He knows the hustle. Hard work, small business owner, so thank you. That is amazing. That's definitely going up in the studio. Nice. Okay, but whenever you put on new shoes, you probably already know this, but a tip of the day, you're probably gonna have to relace them once or twice, even on the run. Don't be afraid to stop and relace. That, that was my mistake with the Vimero 14. Um, I didn't stop early enough. I had re I had laced it too tight, and I got that pain on the on the top of my foot. So anyway, so pretty amazing stuff, uh, YouTube family. This is Luke's first run with Strava. First Strava run ever. Been right. Nike Run Club runner for the past two and a half years, and uh, just now uh, I guess waking up. <laughs> yeah. No. I mean, listen. There's no. There's no right one. Again, I think it's. Strava's just got that community side, I think that just blows me away compared to maybe some some of the other apps. So sure, and I think that's what kind of draws me to it too. Uh, with your channel, I've noticed uh, there's a community in Indiana that I didn't even know of, though existed through some of the live streams and stuff. I mean, you've seen some of the Indiana guys yes. chiming in. Um, there's a lot of Hoosier boys that uh, yeah that, that are uh, in that community, so that's kind of cool. I can I can share on here as well. So. I think it was last week. I think there was like five or six people just from Indiana saying, hey, we're from Indiana running. Yep. So that was awesome. Yep. All right, shall we? Let's do it. You gonna hit start there? Yep. All right. Oh yeah, this is my first reaction to the zoom flies. Oh man, oh 
All right, you know what? We're actually gonna go this way. Yep. So we'll go straight, and then uh, we can add on. Or yeah, we'll we'll come back and we'll kind of. This is the Platte River, right to our left. So we'll go uh, go down and then come back. Right, man eight miles in the books denver Great. colorado what a day man what a day uh so luke is from indiana he's visiting found now how did you find the channel so basically um i believe i was uh, i was actually looking for a lighter weight option actually a heavily cushioned option um something that i could try new because i was having some durability issues with ultra boost and how long they lasted yeah um so i came across your video for the vaporfly four percent yep and uh um that was kind of what led me into the rabbit hole of checking out you know <laughs> some of your older videos and some of your and I, then i subscribed i mean it was yeah, a matter of a day or two so thank you for that and now what is your story that's connected to running okay. and like a little bit let's hear i want to hear everyone to hear you're going to listen to this story about your journey with finding uh health and mental health and just like overall health yeah yeah, yeah. go go so back I, as far as you need to yeah so um i've always uh always had a kind of a um a predisposition to uh to diabetes in my family yeah um and never i've never really tolerated sugar or carbs real well in my diet um so i was always a heavier set pudgy kid um i played basketball um was always the slowest kid good shooter i had good hands and yeah. good coordination but um real slow because i was always pretty heavy and stocky um the only time i really ran um, growing up at all was when the PE coach was just screaming at me, you know, <laughs> to, to, to just pick up my legs and, you know, make that next step. But yeah, um, but yeah so I don't, don't really have any background until, um, yeah, I, I, uh, I finally got uh, fed up with, uh, you know, with being overweight and heavy and really changed my diet drastically um, back when I was about 17 years old and lost 100 pounds back then. Um, but I was 100 pounds, 100 pounds. Yep. <laughs> I was 269 and got down to 168. Jeez. Um, and that was over about a nine month period of, of really stringent, low carb, uh, no carb eating, basically no processed sugar, um, no breads, no grains. Yeah. Um, did that. And, but it was also um, young and dumb and doing a lot of partying back then and wasn't leaving too healthy of a lifestyle, wasn't exercising. Yeah. So that weight came back on. Yeah. Uh, in my 20s and uh, you got back up to back up to 263 okay that would have been in 2015 so, so four, four years ago yeah, basically four years ago four years ago <laughs> 263 yep. 263 okay and then this time i use the same kind of dieting techniques a little bit better now i'm eating more variety of foods a lot of different plants uh whole foods and meats um and cheeses and high fats now um and and really no carbs or sugars but the real key was that back in 2016, um, I had lost about 60 pounds, but it kind of plateaued and really wasn't feeling well. I was mentally wasn't doing really, uh, handling things very well I didn't feel like, and just was kind of in a lull. Yeah. And I just happened to be a shoe nerd. I, uh, I've been a basketball shoe collector and reseller a little bit over the past 10 to 15 years. Did you hear that? So he's he's a big, uh, like a Jordan guy. Yeah. N yeah. Nike, he collected Jordan Nike shoes. Jordan's, uh, Penny Hardaway shoes, all oh, different kinds a, of Nikes. That's so, awesome. Um, yeah, so and still do, still do have a pretty decent little collection there. Um, but yeah, I was ha happy to be on there. But through that, you discovered, what did you find? I found Nike Run Club one day. It, <laughs> it, tripped, it tripped my interest. I just happened to come across it. And I'd already been thinking about, um, when I had some stressful times in my life, I had a counselor in Indianapolis that really gave me some good advice in that. Um, one of the things that might be a good tool to have in my bag in my future life uh, to deal with stress and that kind of things was exercise. And she happened to mention running. So it was already kind of in my head that maybe running was an option for me to get yeah. out of that wall I was in. Yeah. Um, and then Nike Run Club came across. I downloaded it on my phone. I thought, well, I've got a pair of shoot Nike. I think they were Structure 14 Triax Zoom. They had Zoom Air in them. Yep, yep. Um, pretty heavy, clunky shoe, but they were in my closet and they were they were there. So um, just one day, I downloaded that app and said, I'm gonna go try a quarter mile. Yeah. And uh, went out the door, ran down the little uh, cul-de-sac road by my house, 
and did the quarter mile about killed me. I walked home. A I was quarter mile. He made it a quarter mile, and he's like, I'm dead. Well, I walked home. Walked, I walked home. Walked home, and shame, and pretty shameful that day. You know, I mean, it's like I can't even run a quarter mile, but you did a quarter mile though. But I did it. You I got, got out, out the door. Got out the door. Yep. And then it was like the next, and then the day after that, three eighths of a mile. And then I think I took a one day rest and went back for a half a mile. Yeah. And then you start to see those those goals that you Steps. can set, and that you're meeting those goals, and then you you, you start to see that, and it kind of. Um, it, it plays out to a lot of different areas of your life too. Yeah, I mean, yeah. where, where you see that, man, if I could do this in running, well, maybe if uh, maybe if my house isn't as clean as it, it should be, or my my cre I've got credit card debt that I need to handle, you start to be able to um, troubleshoot. That, troubleshoot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Multi exactly. And you said multitasking. Yes. Right. Yeah, multitasking. It's helped me so much with multitasking, with being able to you know to to think about pace, distance, wind, how am I not going to freeze out here in these conditions? I mean, the, yeah. uh, you have to be a multitasker to be out here and run and survive. And so. troubleshoot, yep. Yeah, so um, so that was kind of kind of how I started. Now it's a, now it's just developed into a love and a full-time passion. I mean, uh, any free second I get uh, is with my wife and daughter, and then every once in a while I get to come out on days like this and, love it. Uh, and do something like this, which uh, which is awesome. It's uh, I've seen things over the past two and a half years uh, with this running journey, and that, uh, I mean, just just priceless and all and like you had said earlier yeah. it's not that much of a cost to get into the sport I exactly mean, compared um, to other it's like you need shoes which you know 100 bucks 150 bucks you know but if you get a good pair that you like you're pretty you don't even need technically a watch no nope. you just go out you know you need your shoes and you go go so yeah. and it's a beautiful thing i mean if, and for people especially that are very busy in their careers or with their families it's just a, for me it's a disconnecting time yeah where i can disconnect that cell phone and stop, reflect, think. Yep. Um, that's uh, it's a uh, it's priceless for me and uh, and me and my family and uh, and just yeah, it's been awesome. So well, I'm a runner for life. Thanks for being here, dude. Thanks for sharing a little bit of your thanks story. Thanks for having me, Seth. Man, congrats on ten thousand. I know course. you're going. I know you're going a lot higher. We're brother. going, man. And you're you're one of the ten, and you're helping push it up. And anyway, isn't that an amazing story? Lost and so well. How much? Well, if you don't mind me, one sixty-three. I clocked in two weeks ago at the doctor. One six. So. so you, he lost a hundred pounds twice in his life, and now it's here to stay. He's staying at one hundred and sixty-three. Yeah. But yep. so now he's. It's just amazing. So, congrats. Yeah, amazing. Cool, man. Ah, thanks for sharing. Thanks for having me today. Yeah, of awesome. course. Woo! Boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, no. We're back. Keyword. Keyword today. Putting you on the spot. Put me on the spot with it. Should it's, it be? Should it be a number? You know the number. It's got to be 10k. It's got to be 10k. There 10K. we go. It's got. And we ran a 10k. And we on ran it exactly, exactly. 10k. So oh, that's awesome. It's for meeting, going for a run for the sign. So fun. Thanks for having me. So that's awesome. Keep us posted on how the running goes, training. I will. We're. Uh, I've got a couple guys I've already met through through you uh, through your channel in Indiana. Uh, Blue collar runner in West Lafayette. He and I are going to be running soon, and amazing. Um, so yeah, we'll be we'll be tuning in, and we'll be here, and uh, be cheering for you in Cleveland, brother. Awesome, awesome. And may, who knows? May may we'll see you in Cleveland. You never know. You, you, might, you, you never know, away. right? You might hear a deep uh, Midwestern voice out there. Go, SG! Come on, come on. So. True Love had a busy day, busy day watching a lot of kids. You know, that's how the mamas do it. They throw down, take care of the family. Thanks, True Love. So, she was gonna make something uh, today. Anyway. Yes, I was. Close your eyes. Okay, oh, YouTube family. Da -da -da, da -da -da, <laughs> da -da -da. Hold that, hold what? it. That's from Luke. No. That is from Luke. Okay. Oh my god. Look at that. You guys Papa hit 10,000 subscribers today. 30719. Seeking beauty, working hard, and loving each other. Isn't that Look, amazing? You read my mind. I told him I wanted to make you a sign, but I just like the day got it away. Was busy. <gasps> it was this busy. This is the best sign I've ever seen. Congratulations and onward and upward. And oh my gosh, look at him oh go. Oh my god. What do you guys say? Congratulations, Papa! Congratulations, so, Papa. <laughs> thank you, buddy. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Basically, no, it's a sign. No, it's a sign. Oh. What? <laughs> sign is good. Basically, oh, Luke. Serious. Luke woke up this morning. Okay. I, saw I ran with him today. Oh my gosh. He calls FedEx. No. And he's like, FedEx, you gotta pull through. Pull yes, through. Luke. Get me, get me a sign. So, boom. Luke, thank you. Taking care of this.
and we're just getting started. We're just getting started, YouTube family. Okay, there's not much else I can say today, uh, but I will say one thing real quick. I almost quit. I almost quit. 600 vlogs in, and we're almost, you know, we're, I think we're heading toward 1200, so about 600 vlogs ago, I almost threw in the towel. I was done. I was tired. Uh, I was a little burned out, and I said, you know what? Maybe this isn't gonna work. Maybe we're because we were, you know, we were hovering around at that time probably six or seven hundred subscribers, which I was incredibly grateful for. And shout out to all the old school, old time subscribers. Thank you for being here from the beginning because you were giving me hope when there wasn't a ton of hope happening here on the channel. As far as like finding that audience, you know what I mean. And as a creator, it's so inspiring to keep fighting because we're now finding folks that want content that is motivational, helping them maybe get off the couch, helping them figure out which shoe to buy. And so anyway, but I just want you to know, persevere and patience. Persevere and patience. That's what it takes. That is what it takes. And as the saying goes in the YouTube space, just keep uploading. So, as I always say, like, if you keep watching, I'll keep uploading. I'm here for you, and it is very, very clear that you are here for me, for the family, for building this YouTube community. And I think the, the proof is in the pudding, going for a run today with Luke, and again, a shout out to Luke and his story and like how inspiring his life has been. Um, and how he's turned his life around and, and you know, is doing what he's doing now. So, and before I sign off this 10,000 subscribers celebration vlog, I'm just like, oh, thank you. We couldn't leave without a question of the day. So I have asked this in the past, but I'm fascinated to hear since we now, oh uh, gosh, we're just, we're just moving forward one day at a time. How long have you been subscribed? And do you remember how you found the channel? Was it through a shoe video? Was it through a race vlog? Was it just, cruising YouTube like how did you find I would be it would help me learn like how people are finding the channel especially as guess what we're just getting started let's keep going right one foot in front of the other let's keep moving forward together in running in life and on YouTube does that sound good does that sound good so thank you again and uh, the family, well, they are asleep, but I know they're grateful as well. You should have seen the boys. They brought out like party hats to the dinner table tonight. They were so excited to like see this and to just be um, moving forward in a little minor milestone today. You know, it's a little one, just like Michael crawling on the floor in there. It's like, that's what life is about. Little milestones, little ones, teeny tiny ones every day. And eventually those little milestones, they add up to a big one, okay? So thank you. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.